Hello everyone and happy pre-Thanksgiving. I hope you guys are preparing to be with your family. I just got home, had an awesome day, and I come home to Mr. Leslie preparing our turkey dinner. Happy Thanksgiving Eve. Hey, so anyway, we were having a conversation while we were in the kitchen talking, and I thought about, let's do a video about it. And what we were talking about was, I have this thing where I want to give him what I call man me time. So just like women, we have our me time and we have our time and we want to go out and be without the kids and be without the husband and be without the friends or whatever. We want that me time, right? And I have this thing about if, men, if women want me time, men want me time as well. So I was asking him about it and, you know, there was a part of me was, that was like, I'm doing it for him. But let me ask him, is he okay with it? And it, does he feel like he appreciated because he actually needed like what is his intake on a male me time so baby what do you think and how do you feel about having that male me time well before i answer i want y'all to take a look at this <laughs> nice looking turkey here that's being based it's going down uh, but first of all i appreciate it at the highest level um, because oftentimes what's misinterpreted as time away from the house mm -hmm. can be considered me time for example, I work about 50 hours a week, and so it could seem like because I'm away from the house, that's mm -hmm. me time. Right. I'm manager there. I'm still pastor. I'm still minister there. So me time means my isolated time where I can do nothing. I, I like certain TV shows, and I'm able to do it. So I appreciate it. And I would admonish if you're, if you're a wife that's actually listening to this, allow your husband or your significant other that time. You know, a lot of men call it a men's cave. Mm -hmm. I'm not a sports right. person, so I don't necessarily need sports. That's men's, good. Cave. men's cave. You yeah. know, some people, some men like playing games. I'm not a game person, right. but that's their actual outlet. And you know what? Now I'm just saying that. What I realize why I take this so serious and why I'm, it's so important to me is because he's not a gamer, he, he's not really into sports. Um, and so there's only but so much time you're going to be sitting and reading your Bible, right? So I just feel like at times he has his favorite shows on TV. And so a lot of those shows are not my favorite shows. And so let him just be able to watch his shows as long as he wants to without me saying, baby, let's turn and watch something different, <laughs> you know. So that's a good point that you bring up about that your me time could be just literally sitting and watch TV without any distractions, right? And I will just throw this out there. During this Thanksgiving break, you know, whether it's Wednesday, Thursday for somebody like me or if you're in the school system, it could be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Mm -hmm. Allow an opportunity to have me time even in the midst of being among family. Mm -hmm. So even in the midst, oh, allow that opportunity for but you how, to separate. How, how do they do it uh, in the midst of family? In the midst of family, if they go off into another room, that's okay. okay. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm being anti-family. It just means that maybe I need some me time. And I will say this, outside of family, you got to create that environment where it's safe right. to be able to say, I need ah, some isolated time. A lot of times, my isolated feet. time, it starts at 6 a.m. when I walk out of our bedroom and I'm meditating or I'm watching or listening to, to ministry or whatever motivational speakers, that's some isolated me time as well. Mm -hmm. So even in the midst of being at home together, there's a way, especially during this pandemic, to still create the me time. So what about those who have children? We don't have children in our right. house. So it's easy for me to say, well, I want to give you some me time right. and I can get up and go out and have some me time with myself, whether I'm going grocery shopping or whatever. But if you have kids at home, how does a husband um, or how does a wife create that um, atmosphere for him to still have me time? Well, and I believe that's where the word customize and tailor comes in. And mm -hmm. it's a situation by situation basis. Mm -hmm. You've got to know your situation. Obviously, if you have younger children, babies, it becomes harder to have me time. That's some of the sacrifice mm -hmm. of having children early on. Right. But as time uh, moves on, you're able to appropriate certain things just based on how you, you handle, whether it's a trade-off, you know, because a lot of uh, couples that are both are working in the household. One may work at a certain time and the other one may work at another right. and they're trading off. So you just got to become conscious of how important it is. It's just as important for a woman to have me time as it is a man. But being conscious and understanding that that's a healthy component Ooh, in your relationship. It's not uh, unhealthy right. the fact that my wife spends three hours away from me. It's not unhealthy that I spend three hours away oh, from no, her. Oh, no, it's not unhealthy that 
you're okay with yeah. your wife yeah. spending yeah. three yeah. hours yeah. away. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. the unhealthy part is, why aren't you home with yeah. me? Yeah. 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 Why, yeah. It's right. your right. off day. Why aren't we spending time together? Right. 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 That's the unhealthy part. But this is his first off day since Sunday. <laughs> And the first thing I said this morning is let me go and get away for a couple of hours and let you have some time to yourself. So I think that's very healthy in relationships. When you love yourself and you love your partner, you want what you want for you for them as well. Absolutely, because you realize the healthier they are, the healthier your marriage will be. Come on now. And so when you embrace that, it makes it so easy. And mm -hmm. so, you know, I didn't do nothing. I actually watched my show and then I started right. getting ready for Thanksgiving. And, you know, we, we love being around each other. But the fact that she she respects that and say, you know what, I'm going to give him a couple hours every mm -hmm. now and then, mm -hmm. it's an awesome experience. And I think every, not just every man, but every person needs that. But I'm going to tell you, when when you have a problem with it, and mm -hmm. I, I want you to hear right. this, Come on. it's because there's some insecurities mm -hmm. in your relationship. Come on now. When you have a problem with being away from your spouse for yeah. two or three hours and you don't know where they are and all yeah. of that, and I'm, I'm not talking about not communicating, I'm not talking about that, right. but there's some insecurities, which is a whole other other line issue, right. and we'll be talking right. about that in some weeks and months to come as well. Right, right, right. Amen. Well, that is our segment for today. Lessons, Lessons of Love talk <laughs> show that will be coming soon. Um, you guys enjoy your Thanksgiving with your family and we love you and we talk to you soon. Happy Turkey Day!